So I would like to introduce you all to my dear friend, Chris Novoni. Chris has been a journalist for 25 years. She's also a career coach, and she's also a life coach, a certified life coach. She will be working with some of our students on individual sessions that will last five weeks each. So after this lecture, which is gonna be explaining the work that she does, uh, if you're interested in these sessions, they're gonna be uh, taking place here at Magic on Fridays, and it's absolutely free for you guys. So ask questions, make sure you ask everything, what it is, make, make sure if it's the right uh, uh, opportunity for you, and it is amazing. Uh, you guys are in a two year ride, and you need to get ready for the workforce, and Chris can help you doing that. We're also gonna have, in February and in March, other soft skills workshop at Magic. Everything is on our calendar of events. We're gonna have a workshop about resume building. We're gonna have a workshop about interview skills, how do you interview, how do you get skills to be interviewed for a, a, a job. And the last one's gonna be, I got a job, now what? So we have several <coughs> partners here in Miami that provide us with jobs and internships, opportunities for you guys. And the number one complaint that I hear from them is that sometimes, you know, all the students are not 100% ready to uh, be absorbed by the workforce. So pay attention, ask questions, and now here's my friend, Chris Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. Let me, uh, uh, first of all, let me just tell you a little bit uh, who I am, a little bit more. I have a, a, a BA and Master's from American University uh, in Washington, D.C. in journalism. Uh, I was a Washington foreign correspondent for about 12 years, and then I moved to Miami because I had the first, I'm from Brazil, like Maldi, so then I wanted to be closer to home, but I wasn't ready to go back home. So, and I wanted to really form new journalists because I felt that the quality of uh, journalism was really falling, and so I started teaching at UM, and then I went to FIU, Florida International, to teach journalism. I built the South Florida News Service, which was uh, an academic news from there. I, I want to acknowledge uh, a colleague from FIU here, Hugo Atalangi, uh, in journalism and PR, and, uh, uh, and, and I worked very closely with the uh, Society of Professional Journalists and, 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 and got an award as the uh, uh, you know, National Faculty Advisor. So I've been working, I'm telling you this so you understand that I've been working with students for about 12 years here in Miami. And that's when I realized how important it is to coach students. And Hugo and I uh, indirectly have been uh, on the same line of work in the sense that it's not just about skills that you learn in, 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 in school. You really, uh, uh, I think our jobs as professors is to help you become the best people you can become and, 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 and uh, really focus on the type of career you want to have, not something that you thought you'd get money out, that you thought that it would be easier or because your parents put you there. So I realized that I have been really coaching students as much as teaching students. And that's when I decided to get a life coaching certificate and work with students, not just as a professor, which I, I'm still teaching journalism at FIU, but, but now I'm also uh, leading a, a, a parallel career as a coach. And this is a terrific, terrific opportunity to work with you guys and notice you open up that space for, for us to work together. And I hope we're gonna have 10 slots. It's a pilot uh, program, a pilot project that I hope will lead into something much bigger uh, than this. And I thought, I kind of knew this was gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Uh, Okay, so, so what we're doing here now today is, is working together as the first step toward your individual coaching sessions on, on your road to success. And so I need you to work with me because I don't have a lecture 
I have a talk with you to understand where you are and where you want to go. So this is what I'm calling your uh, road to success. So sounds familiar. How many of you feel this way? Only four? <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on. So why? Yeah. Oh, why do I feel like this? Yeah. Well, why do I feel depressed? I don't know. Not just depressed, but just all of it. <laughs> oh. It's Overwhelmed. Like, Overwhelmed and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> I have no tentacles. Uh-oh. I don't think there's enough room for me. I'm, uh, okay, so I feel overwhelmed and Absolutely, that's what we call in coaching limiting beliefs. So uh, limiting beliefs, for whatever reason, makes us hold ourselves back, and we, we self-boycott us many times. And that's what coaching can help you uh, free yourself from some of those beliefs. Anyone else, why do you feel uh, a lack of self-esteem? that worried about, overwhelmed about life. Anyone? Yeah? Uh, well, basically I have, um, I feel like I'm jumping the gun and taking the step too fast. Mm -hmm. I, I traditionally like to transfer to a university after two years, yet I'm going with this program and I feel where I want to be is like jumping way too fast and it worries me, it builds up anxiety. And they, Absolutely, absolutely, and you are not alone. Most <coughs> students feel this way, even if you're not talking about it, and that's the main reason why coaching uh, students will, will actually uh, help you through this stress, through this feeling of over overwhelm. So let me ask you this, how satisfied are you with your ride? Anyone here who is on a scale of one to 10 totally satisfied with the ride you're taking? Okay, how many of you are the least satisfied? Okay, anyone, where do you stand on a scale of one to 10 in terms of satisfaction with your own right? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, for me, um, it's a seven. Okay, why is that? Well, because um, uh, when I first came to this, into magic, uh, I, it feel really great. Um, I'm expressing myself a little bit, although there's some, you know, tough obstacles on, on the way. But um, so I guess it's my challenge to overcome those obstacles <coughs> and achieving um, what uh, life is in the end. Absolutely terrific. So the goal of coaching is to bring you up to. Well, at least eight, you know, we're never completely satisfied because life is so complicated nowadays. But if you get to eight, you know, and you're at seven, that's not bad at all. But most people see themselves five down, right? Uh, how satisfied are you with your academic life? Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead, and then I'll get to you. Nine. Nine, terrific, so that's your choice of magic? Yeah. Got it. How about there was somebody here? Nine too. Terrific. I'm happy with my classes and I'm happy with the work I'm doing in them. There's always a little bit of doubt, so that's why it's not a ten. Amazing. Amazing. That's terrific. Yeah. Well, um, for me again, it's a seven. Well, I'm doing good in my classes, although there's one particular class I'm uh, <coughs> kind of having worries about, but um. I'm pretty sure with, with the proper help and practice and study, um, I think I'll reach the 10 um, soon. Yeah. And again, coaching will not teach you skills that you are having issues in your class, but it will help you, it will help you find your own solutions to get better at it. Make sense? So, I think I'm, I better change 
was I knew there was a knowledge going to pass. There you go. Okay. It's playing with me, guys. From from the time I got here, it's like <coughs> now I want to work, now I don't. So um, so how satisfied are you, somebody else, with your personal life? Okay. Uh, for me, I hate that. <laughs> Terrific. Anyone else? Somebody who's not talking, talk to me. In the back. Okay, quiet guys. I assume that's a kind of a one. <laughs> Damn. How about you? You're laughing. Yeah. I'd probably say I guess it's six. Okay. So it needs work, huh? Yeah, it needs work. I mean, there's like a lot of planning, you know, stuff going on. <sighs> Terrific. So I always balance it out with like two drinks. Absolutely, and that's what happens. That's what brings the, the feeling, the sense of over, feeling overwhelmed because life is not just magic, it's not just work, it's not just personal. It's a combination of all of that for you to bring up your level of satisfaction in life in general. So, how satisfied are you with your professional goals? Like what you want to do? Okay, let's keep going. So how many of you know why you're here? Your life purpose? What you came here to do? Yeah. Huh? You got a career? No, I mean in life. 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 Your life. Your, I came here to, to be a journalist. My mission is to communicate. It's to help people find their, their, their sense of self and grow. Yeah. Create stuff, whether that be art or videos or whatever. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyone else? Uh, he had a comment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, to continue on the path that's laid out in front of me and see where it takes me, uh, surprisingly, uh, it's always come back to the art in, in some way or another. No matter how hard I would try to get away from it, it's always come back to this. Amazing. That's what it is. Once you have, and that's what, again, what coaching helps you is to find a sense of purpose. Because once you have a purpose, you find ways to create short-term, mid-term, and, and, and long-term goals that will lead you to your road to success, your personal road to success. And everyone has his or her own personal road to success that I cannot, what's success for me, it's not for you. So let me ask you a question. What would be success for any of you? What does su success mean? Anyone, yeah. It means um, achieving your goal. Okay, terrific. That's success. Absolutely. Anyone else? Being able to accomplish like your life goals and dreams, stuff like that. Like what you want to do or what you want to do. Yeah, so it always goes back to a sense of purpose, right? Yeah. Establishing confidence. Confidence? Okay, terrific. And how do you do that? If you manage to complete something. Huh? Just want to redeem yourself. Speak up. I have no idea what I'm saying. So how do you how do you grow confidence? How do you grow your confidence, your self confidence, confidence in what you're doing? Um, yeah. By believing yourself. And how do you do that? By um. By learning on what you learned from uh, from your past life. That's that's a way of looking at it. I agree, but 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 uh, 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 there are other ways in this life for you to also grow your confidence. Yeah. Face your fears. Face your fears. Beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. It's got to be comfortable with yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. But how do you do all of this? Yeah. Just do it regardless. Terrific, do it regardless. <laughs> Absolutely. 
So, so anyone else who feels that they have a sense of purpose in life that might be coming from a past life or not? No one else? So why are you here? Some of you respond to that based on your life purpose, but, but the others who did not yet uh, or were not yet able to define uh, the life purpose, why are you here today? What's your academic purpose? Now everybody should be able to respond to that. I wanna hear at least from five people. Come on, quiet guys and girls. Talk to me. I mean, obviously to get a degree, like to be able to go out into the world and work. But for me, I'm getting, um, right now I'm starting off with my AA and A degree. Mm -hmm. So it's probably like then transfer to another like university and then get like at least a bachelor's, maybe in art or like whatever people feel comfortable maybe going up further in uh -huh. education so that they can um, accomplish like what job they want to do or like work for like as an animation or like to be an animator or you know other stuff like that. Terrific. How many of you here are absolutely 100% certain they want to be animators? Not everyone. Interesting. Uh, how many of you are want to create video games? Okay, so what's happening with some of you who are not raising your hands to either one and you are here in the magic program, for instance? Anyone who didn't raise your hand? Okay. Yeah, yeah um, well, I'm not so sure if I'm specifically going to be doing anything animated or like in a video game. But I know I want something with graphic arts where, you know, like be it designing a pamphlet for like a company or something. I know I at least want something like that. Am I gonna branch out and do something more than that? I'm not so sure. Okay, okay. What got you to magic? Um, I was recommended to me and you know, I thought it was cool that that is, that has a lot to do with my personal interests. And you know, I've been learning a lot from here and I've been doing pretty good. But, yeah, you know, I've been like thinking about it. Uh, after I get my associates in science and my associates in arts, I'm gonna be going to FIU getting like a graphic arts degree. So I think I'm gonna start with that. And if I feel like I can do more, maybe. Okay, terrific. And again, we've, we've been hearing here a lot of situations that coaching can definitely help you find your road to success. In every, in every way. You have something to comment as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm on the same boat, pretty much in the same boat as him, but I feel like like my <coughs> skill set, whatever, could be applied to just about anything. It just depends on what, which end I kind of naturally flow into. Okay, and why did you choose magic to start? Well, I've been Your doing- path? Uh, I've been doing animation and art for a lot of years, and one, one day my friend was like, hey, check this out. Yeah, when that happens to a lot of people, a lot of students, and, and, and ideally, and that's why coaching is so important, because ideally you start a program for the right reasons. Because it's not, nothing in life is a waste of time, nothing. Because every path you take, you're learning something, okay? So that's wonderful, it's terrific, but if you start off kind of, if you had coaching in high school, for instance, and you started off uh, uh, kind of understanding better your purpose, then, then you'd get there a little bit faster sometimes. Sometimes not. Sometimes you have to go through that. Anyone else who feels that uh, they're here, it's cool, but it's not really a, a choice that was made consciously because they absolutely adore animation and that's what they want to do for the rest of their lives. Anyone who didn't raise your hand? Talk to me. I guess for some people like the program is like flexible for them to like test the water to see, you know, is it something they're like interested in, or maybe some programs within the system 
that falls with their interest to like take it, you know, to somewhere else. Yeah. And it's affordable too, because there's not <laughs> many programs out there that we have here that were, you know, offered. Some schools are like expensive, and then once you check it out, you've wasted your time and your money. Absolutely. So Absolutely. that's where you're going to get It's messing with me so much. Can you put them this way? Uh -huh. So what a coach is not. A coach is not your academic advisor. A coach is not a counselor. And a coach is not your therapist. Okay, that's, that's what the coach is not. And sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. Uh, coaching will help you really find your purpose, remain true to yourself and your purpose, and succeed. A coach is, in fact, the mirror. It's what I like to, the way I like to define it. The coach, uh, a coach is the mirror to your own real consciousness, to your success. So a coach is your mirror so I'm gonna be on this side, you're gonna be on this side, and you're gonna be looking at yourself, and you're gonna find your real purpose yourself. I'm just gonna give you a hand to bring you to that, to that place. Make sense? So what do you see, and now I really wanna hear from more people. What do you see at the end of the road? Each one of you, or many of you, please tell me what you see. Somebody who hasn't talked. I'll come closer. <laughs> okay, those who are looking away, it's because you really don't want to talk. I won't push. <laughs> Anyone here? Those who are looking at me can talk. Those who look away, I won't push. You're looking at me. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's important that you understand what you see at the end of your own road. Anyone? Go ahead. Retirement. Is that what you said? Yeah. How old are you? I mean, when I'm older, you We got somebody here already looking at retirement. <laughs> That's wonderful, you really see far. Anyone else? <laughs> Talk to me. Shop, animation shop? Instead of a studio somewhere in the country. A studio, okay, got it. Terrific, anywhere, be specific, where would it be? Allenburg, Tennessee. Beautiful, that's what, that's precisely what we want to start seeing and that coaching will help you. See, at the end of the road, and that can change, guys, and it changes all the time, that there's nothing wrong with changing what you see at the end of the road. But you have to be able, every step of the way, to see what you want at the end of the road, at the end of next year. Where do you want to be? And be specific. I want to be making a million dollars. Okay. I want to be able to, to set up a studio in Tennessee. I want to be able to finish school. I want to be able to start a BA and finish, have finished magic. So what else do you guys see? You're looking at me, talk. I'm not a magic student, I got real. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start talking here. That's my husband. Um, Anyone else? Sorry. <laughs> you look like a student. It's in the emails again. Of course. You. Oh, I, I see me um, so. creating a company. Maybe. Uh, we I, I, but I would like to create something enjoyable, like a new. Uh, uh, that's why. That's my goal. All right, but let's be specific. Gabby is not a student, but she can talk. <laughs> well, where do you see yourself? What do you see at the end of the road? Uh, well, on the side, I do production too, and I do want to work with uh, film and TV production. So I do see myself, um, once I go through the pregnancy and everything <laughs> else, <laughs> um, working with actual um, t 
TV production. Terrific! Anyone else? Yeah, um, yeah um, I was thinking that at the very least, I should do one thing that's original, like be it an animation or a game. And, you know, if my career gets better from there, I don't really, I don't mind if I make more things or just stop at that. I just want to at least do one thing and, you know, just kind of get my name out there, even if it's just for that one thing. You know what I'm seeing here? Just, you guys are not allowing yourselves to dream. And I'll talk a, a little bit more about that. And yeah. at least 50,000 subs on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the, that's the most specific. Well, he also was very specific. But that's the most specific. This is a very clear goal. So what I hear from many of you is a lack of purpose, a lack of allowing yourself to dream because from the dream of this is where I want to be and just allow yourself the craziest thing you can come up with. Well, I'd like to retire next year or <laughs> whatever it is. But, but it's really important, guys, and that's what culture will help you to dream. And then from your dream, create tangible goals. And, and, but everything starts with a visualization. Where do you want to be next year? What do you see for yourself at the end of the road? Anyone else? Somebody had raised their hand, I think. So, uh, the retirement guy. <laughs> you have something else to say? Uh, no. Anyone else? Next to you. Talk to me. Yeah, you. No. Anyone else? Here in the back. What do you see at the end of the road for yourselves? Yeah. Terrific! Making graphic novels. Now, where? See, that's what prevents you guys from achieving your goals, from dreaming, because you need to visualize clearly. Close your eyes and visualize the life you want to be having a year from now. I don't want to be working three jobs. I don't want to be ever happy. From working for Disney or Pixar? Terrific! Absolutely! Okay? In which function? 2D animator? Absolutely. So that's what you guys need to start uh, uh, thinking. It's basically like what do you see for yourself? And allow yourself to dream big. Everything you think you can make it. Anything at all anything. You just have to allow yourselves, and what happens many times is what we're talking about, limiting beliefs. Well, I don't have money, so why would I bother? I have to help at home. I don't have time. Why would I bother? I'm not really doing this because I love. I just need to be here to graduate. I won't bother. There is one word that, that I absolutely can't stand from my students and, 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 and of anything in English is the word whatever. Man, I really can't stand that word. Whatever doesn't exist. You guys exist. You make your life. You make your road to success. So now, with coaching, which I think it really lacks at every university, and that's the main reason, the main reason why we're starting this pilot project. I think I will delete that stuff. Uh, we really are, are starting this pilot project so that we can take coaching to, uh, to other places, to other universities, but we're starting here with you guys. You know, so I really want to, 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 to ask you to take advantage of this because this is coming totally free for you. It's kind of a gift from Magic, from Mauricio, and, and for you guys to really 
take advantage of this opportunity so you can start dreaming, finding ways to achieve your goals, and finding uh, where you want to go, your real purpose. So what are you doing to fulfill your purpose? Some of you who have very clear purposes. What are you doing to have your studio in Tennessee? I'm building, building from the ground up. What specifically, what one step you're taking? Everybody knows the answer, right? Making the shorts at home. Making some shorts at home. Yeah, but you're here, right? Yeah. So you're here, that's one step. And you guys need to just build up on different steps. So what are you doing to retire soon? I'm gonna pick on you. <laughs> I love it. Uh, practice every day. Okay, so you, you create your own success based on what you do to fulfill your purpose. So what would it take for you to follow your perfect role? The first step, is to define your role, right? And to visualize where you wanna go. What's, where do you wanna go? Point A to point B? It's so simple. It's so simple, but so many of you cannot answer that question. And that's what we wanna help you with, to actually find the answer to that question. So the secrets to succeed as college students and recent graduates, to me, feel really simple. First of all, to choose to be successful. How many of you choose success? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, how many are we here? 30 maybe? Okay, that's a third. That's, pay attention to what I'm saying. A third of this room, I understand if you guys are shy and don't wanna talk, but a third of this room did not raise their hand when I asked, you know, how many of you are choosing, choosing success. Choose happiness. Life is good. Life is really good, right? So why are you not choosing happiness? Why are you putting yourself in situations that don't make you feel good? And I don't mean drugs or alcohol. <laughs> I mean life. Doing things that make you feel special that make you feel that you're accomplishing something, okay? And again, accomplishments, okay? So if you choose success, happiness, and accomplishments, that you're here because you want to accomplish something, not because I am just here, whatever, right? That's what's not gonna lead you to the road of, uh, of your own success. So this should be part of your life goals. So on a scale of one to 10, how ready are you to succeed? Okay, how many hands at one? Two. Two? Three. Why? Coaches, right on for you. Three. I still need to, I still need to learn a little, learn a little more, a bit more, more criteria. Terrific, another candidate for coaching. Four. Why? I still have a long way to go. In which way? Well, there's still some classes I need to pass and more credits to, to get a degree and to transfer to the other school. But do you feel you're doing what it takes to succeed? Um, yeah, I think so. Five. Going once, going twice, five. Now 
right? Six. Oh, you're five? My no. one's actually supposed to be five. Six. Okay. <laughs> Six. Yeah. Uh, I have taken some classes, but I'm not feeling it more experience. But I'm not in, I'm in a good class. Speak up, uh, people oh, can't hear you. But, uh, I have taken some classes, but I know I still have to do a little more. Okay, terrific. What did we stop? Seven? Now it's eight? Should we go for seven? Seven. Seven. Okay. Help me. Right. Long, long more practice? Okay, and what are you doing to get more practice? <laughs> terrific. It's a way. Hey. Go ahead, why? Uh, still gotta build my portfolio and uh, you know, just come up with other stories. <laughs> but you're almost there. Yeah, it's pretty much there. Terrific, terrific. And again, uh, uh, as you sign up for coaching, you each have an individual session with me for six weeks. One hour of my time with you dealing with any of the issues. So, from one to 10, and I'll get to the nine and 10, but from one to 10, you each have something that you can gain from this opportunity, okay? Who is at nine? Okay, so let's start here and then go there. All right. uh, I feel like I have, like, yeah, I need to develop the discipline and apply my skills and like develop the skills. Terrific, and that's it. Beautiful, in the back. Num nine, talk to me, why? Okay, I'll go for it. I'm basically like her, I'm just waiting to gain more skills so that I, when I'm done with magic, I can go and explore in the animation field. Okay, so what do you see at the end of your road? Opening an animation studio in Miami. In Miami, how many people working for you? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess when I start off, I want to have, a, I guess, a group of like a good 20 people that, that actually want to be in the field and know what they're doing. Terrific! How much money do you want to be making? Oh, I never <laughs> really thought of that. <laughs> um, Tell me. Uh, I'm just going to be a big number. I would say like $2 million a year, I guess. Terrific! <laughs> Terrific! So, so uh, do we have a pan? No pen? Okay, so this is about it. This is me, Chris Dalboni, and uh, uh, we're gonna have, what time is it? We have about 20 minutes. I'd like to take a few more minutes to answer any questions about the program itself. What will we pay? Uh, uh, and then Gabby is gonna help us with setting up uh, who wants to, so basically here's how it's going to work starting next Friday I'll be here at Magic from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. I think those are the hours we kind of set it up right so I'll be seeing students for 50 minutes each first six Fridays five students so the pilot project is allowing us 10 students so Five students will be selected for the first six weeks. So you're gonna have six private hours with me. Every week, one hour. So I'll be seeing a student at 11, at noon, and, and then I need to, we need to figure out the details. I just need a little bit of a break uh, for lunchtime. But, but so I'll be here seeing five students on Fridays. For six Fridays, then for six other Fridays, another five students. So every Friday, and, and especially now it's really cool because I know Magic is having workshops on Fridays, so so it's easier, so you guys will be here. Uh, so what we need now is to really have 10 students sign up, either for the first, huh? 12, six and six. The, uh, no, it's 10 students, six weeks each. Yeah, so, so what we're gonna have is 
10 students and then five students will be with us for, for with me for six weeks and then for the remaining six weeks of the semester another five students and if there is I mean if we have more students I will try to accommodate you guys so it's okay it's just